Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our first personal break of the day. Do have three boxes of, ooh, here we go, 2020 Rittenhouse Game of Thrones, the complete series for Jacob O from Virginia. So thank you so much, Jacob, for letting me open up these three Game of Thrones boxes for you. I hope to find you some awesome cards. Now let me go ahead and hold this over here. I know the playmat view is blocking the box a little bit. These boxes do contain two autographs per box, one of which being either a dual auto or an autograph with an inscription. You can also get bonus hits and including SSP metal inserts, costume relics, sketch cards, which we have not seen. I would love to find one of those here for Jacob. So let's go ahead and get on into them. Also, just like those Star Trek boxes from Rittenhouse, Star Trek Discovery Season 2, each Game of Thrones box here is numbered out of 11,000 as the total print run of boxes for this product. So let's go ahead, snap us into the corner, and check out each individual box. Now, I was planning on reading them out like I usually do, but uh, the Rittenhouse logo is actually blocking most of the numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and let's open it this way. That way I don't cut the seal without checking that number. I'm really curious and I always appreciate that Rittenhouse does that. It's just cool to check. Ooh, low numbered box here. This is number 408. Let's check this box out as well. Then the other one is legible. But this one is 1,535 out of 11,000. And this one is 10,436, but since I'm taking all the shrink wraps off, may as well open this one on up as well. Now each box does have 24 packs, like I was saying. You're guaranteed two autographs per box, some of them being dual autos, some of them being inscription autos, and then one additional auto. Let me set these boxes over here to the side and we'll get started with number 408 out of 11,000. This is exciting. Like I was saying, I would really love to find a sketch. We have not found any sketches yet out of any Rittenhouse products here on the channel. None out of Umbrella Academy, none out of Star Trek Discovery, not out of Star Trek Archives and Inscriptions. We had had a few boxes of that a couple months ago. And none out of the Game of Thrones either. So let's go ahead and get started. This pack already feels heavy. I think we will have a metal card here. Let's get started for Jacob. Do have a metal card. It is Jon Snow. Then and now insert number three. Very cool. Those do fit into 55 point top loaders. So let me grab one of those, get that sleeved up. And then we will continue. All right, next pack. And since we have done uh, a lot of live openings of this product, we also had an, a live stream when the product first came out. Well, we are distracted here by Nato. Francis McGee has Yorin is our first auto of the box. Pretty quickly and early on in the box to get an autograph, but I'm not complaining. But as I was trying to say, I'm gonna go through the base a bit quicker. We do have three boxes. You should be seeing a complete base set per box. So there's gonna be a lot of repetition on these cards. And like I, I was mentioning, we've done live streams, actual dual live case opening when a product came out. So we've seen these cards quite, quite enough, I think. So I will probably be going a bit quicker through the base here tonight. Now I am filming all these recordings later in the day because we did have the Spectrum Tech come out to take a look because we've been having problems with our upload speed being very, very low, as low as 0 0.08 megabits per second. Um, does seem like there's some kind of issue with the line. Wasn't able to fix it. There's gonna be something, someone else coming out to do something different than what this guy was able to do in about four days or so, but. It's not just a alley unplug and replug in the modem. There's actually something wrong with it's supposed to be deferring to some other kind of line or I don't know, it's hard boss man reiterated what the guy was saying to me. Uh, it's not transferring to a different way. So whenever one's cause we're supposed to be getting like 60 megabits upload. Uh, so instead of switching over when I guess one part's clogged, it's just staying there, which is why sometimes it's really slow and then it'll bounce back to going really fast. At least that's my understanding of it. Castle Black Max insert. So hopefully that'll be done. For some reason, it's just problems with upload speed on Monday evenings. I don't understand it. But whatever. It is what it is. Hopefully that will be rectified soon. But the guy today did replace the modem, just in case there's anything with that. But running the speed test it seems still to be a bit wonky. Hopeful that that does get fixed soon. We do have a couple personal breaks today, a mix of non-sports and sports. We do have these three Game of Thrones boxes, also have some Magic Gathering and Flesh and Blood later on. That'll actually probably be our fourth one of the night. And we also have two boxes of Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey, one for Anthony B, one for Sean W. We have OSHA, cast insert.
also now with the new year in channel memberships, as soon as I memorize one list, we of course uh, have been picking up a lot of actual channel members during our weekend live streams. So of course now that I had memorized the previous list of names to read out at the end of the video, uh, there are new names, so I'm probably going to be back to checking very obviously to my to my right, your guys' left, uh, to check the monitor because I do have the lists up on the computer screen, just so that way I make sure I don't miss anybody. But of course I do appreciate that you guys going above and beyond here with your support of the channel. Very, very grateful for you guys, channel members. And even if you're not a member, you're just a subscriber, or maybe you're not even subscribed yet, you're just checking out this video. Appreciate you watching and giving your support that way of the channel. Do of course appreciate all the viewers incredibly enough. We are at 17 and a half thousand, just a couple days shy of our one year channel anniversary. Coming up this Thursday is our anniversary here, January 14th, 2021. We'll be one year of Titan cards on YouTube which is pretty incredible to think about how far I've come in just one year. So thank you so much, all of you guys, for sticking with me. Uh, I've been watching some of the older videos, and I'm like, man, how, how, why has anyone watched this, though? And I appreciate you guys. Of course, as time goes on, I'll just, I think, keep improving. I would hope to not uh, regress, but I'm sure you guys will tell me, be like, Allie, you're, you're, you're slipping. You should stop. And I'm like, okay. Well, here is our second auto of the box. We have Eugene Simon and Ian McElhenney as Lancel Lannister and Sir Baristan Selmy dual autograph. That's our second auto of the box. Don't believe we've actually seen this one before. That's pretty cool. Dual auto is our second auto. Like I said, you're guaranteed either a dual auto or an inscription and then an additional autograph per box. the end of box number one. Silver foil, a man without honor. 142 out of 175. For our first box here, let me go ahead and move that out of the way. Yeah. Excuse me, everyone. Allergies have been horrendous for me in these past couple days. But getting into the next box here, 10,436. So going from the very beginning almost of the print line to close to the very end. Let me go ahead and move the stack of base out of the way. All right, here we go. Pack number one. All right, next pack. Didn't start off this box with a metal card, but you know what? That's all right. And is also, I wouldn't expect to get them back-to-back -back boxes. It does seem there are one to two per case on those metal cards. Another foil here. You win or you die. That is number 119 out of 175. Shea and Tyrion Lannister pairs insert.
We have maps, inserts, Volantis. We have cast, Daenerys Targaryen. We actually have not seen that one. Very nice to see the Daenerys card here, C6, cast number six. I thought it was characters, that would make sense, but the, the insert is actually titled cast insert. Just like you think this one would be relationships because it starts with R, but it actually is pairs. A bit, bit uh, interesting there on why that's named like that. I remember during the actual two case live stream that we did when, it, when the product came out, I was cosplaying actually in that outfit there by Daenerys. And I, that's what I was calling. I was calling uh, characters inserts, pairs, or uh, relationships, maps. At least the maps one is uh, is maps, I'm pretty sure, at least uh, to my memory. But I was just going by what made sense, and then I actually looked at the checklist afterwards when I was getting everything listed. I was like, huh, weird that they're actually not titled that way. Usually insert sets are intuitive with their naming, but these are a little subversive. Still waiting on both of our autographs from the second box here. Oh, we do have a dual auto here. Ron Donacci and Michelle Fairley. Another one we haven't seen before. Roderick Castle and Caitlin Stark. Dual autograph. Interesting. I like seeing cards from this product, especially in the autographs that we have yet to see before. Helps me learn new characters' names because I've actually never seen this series. That is cool. Dual Auto Ron Donacci and Michelle Fairley as Roderick Castle and Caitlin Stark. Still one more auto remains here in the second box for Jacob. Here's our second auto, it is Rebecca Benson as Tala Tarly, autograph. All right, so both autos from box number two have been located. Get that top loaded, then we will continue. All right, next pack. Lisa Aron, cast number 36. And the last pack here of box number two. Up oh, we have Gendry. That is the cast parallel, 21 of 75. You would think actually that these are the parallels because they're foil, but the parallels are the matte cards and the foils are the regular compared to the base set, which the parallels are the foil and the regular card, the regular matte style cards are the, the base cards. All right, last box here for Jacob. Do have 1,535. Let's see what this box here has to offer. 24 more packs, and then we'll be done today with our Game of Thrones openings. Again, let me move the stack of base out of the way. And here we go. Let's get started. Pack number one.
We do have Daenerys and Dario Naharis. That is the pairs, number 10. Foil of the Climb, number 59 out of 175. We have another cast here, Lord Yon Royce. That is insert number 84 of that set. That is a 100 card insert, by the way. And only collecting two per box. That is quite the task to try and fulfill by opening boxes, of course. You could always just buy the singles to complete the set, but that's minimum 50 boxes need to be opened to complete that insert set. So that means, right, out of 11,000, how many sets can you make, right? So 10 times 100 in 1,000. So per 1,000, there's five at the most sets. That is assuming perfect collation. So what, 50, 55 cents? really not many at all when you think about it. First autograph here, Rebecca Benson and Samantha Spiro, dual auto. Again, Rebecca Benson as Tala Tarly and Samantha Spiro as Melissa Tarly. Did see the single auto of Tala Tarly in box number two. Here is a dual auto. Hopefully, Jacob, you are a Tarly family fan here. Here we go, let's get that sleeved up, top loaded, and let's continue. Next pack. We have Maps, Dragonstone. We have our other auto here. Hey, wow, okay, Samantha Spiro again, the Tarly box here. As Melissa Tarly. Single auto. We just saw her, of course, in that dual auto with Rebecca Benson. All right, interesting box here. So I hold by my statement, Jacob. I hope you are a Tarly family fan. All right, let's finish off this box here, see if we can finally find our first sketch card. Maybe we can find a relic. Costume relics do count as bonus hits, too. We have Sunday cast, number 61. Oop, runaway base card. And the last pack for Jacob. What do we have? We 
We have no bonuses here in that last pack, unfortunately. All right, well, let me go ahead and do some housekeeping here. Move this box out of the way. Straighten up this base. Like I said, we do have three boxes worth of base. So about three base sets here for your collection, Jacob, unless there's anything crazy going on. It should be about one, you know, if collation's not horrendous, should be a base set per box. But let's go ahead and look at our cards that we received here. Did get, of course, one foil parallel per box for the base set. There are one of ones. I believe they are called Red Wedding one of ones. So I'm assuming they're red. We have yet to find any. Just the regular silver foil. Those are numbered out of 175. Also have the cast parallel Gendry out of 75. And for our autographs, did get three dual autos. No inscriptions here. One metal card, which is not an autograph. And then three single autos, of course. Let's take a look. We had Ron Donacci and Michelle Fairley as Roger Castle and Caitlin Stark. We had Eugene Simon and Ian McElhenney as Lancel Lannister and Sir Baristan Selmy. And we had Rebecca Benson and Samantha Spiro as Tala Tarly and Melissa Tarly. Of course, the Tarly theme box had the single Samantha Spiro auto. Also, directly prior in that other box, box number two, we did see the Rebecca Benson single auto. And in box number one, we had Francis McGee as Yorin for our single auto. Box number one also had this really cool metal card here of Jon Snow. Then and now, insert number three. And that will do it here for these three boxes of Game of Thrones, the complete series from Rittenhouse for Jacob. Thank you so much, Jacob, for letting me open up some more boxes for you here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed this opening and love these new additions to your Game of Thrones collection. Not sure if this was your first like foray into Game of Thrones cards or not, but I hope I was able to get you some cards that you enjoy regardless. But that will do it here for this opening. Like I said, we do have some more non-sports product in the way of uh, Magic Gathering and Flesh and Blood, but that'll be our fourth opening. Up next, we're going to go check out some Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. First box for Anthony B, second box for Sean W. So that's what's coming up today. Three more videos catch you in those but before i head out of here of course i have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members as i was mentioning earlier in the video did with the new year new year roll out channel memberships we do have five black label fans and then bounty hunter breaks epicenter gaming pooh bear and steven olivo and we do have nine gem mint fans anthony basileo devon dusty archuleta geriatric geek house style 13 jake ryan oc joe howe michael c and steven bligh thank you so much all you guys for your above and beyond support of the channel really do appreciate you guys doing a little bit extra and showing your support that is very awesome of you very kind of you and we do really appreciate it but that will do it here for this video if you all enjoyed it make sure to go ahead and hit that like button comments for me leave those down below and of course if you're not yet part of the titan curtains family we'd love to have you with us like i said one year anniversary coming on january 14th i'm, I'm really curious to see if we'll hit 18,000. i don't think we will but you never know always fingers crossed maybe we will hit 18,000 in one year here on youtube that would be crazy but thank you so much for watching everyone take care stay safe and i hope to catch you in the next video bye